John Cena defends against Orton, Kane, Roman Reigns, and Orrin Thornton, I guess. Uh, so who, who you guys got? <laughs> <laughs> who you guys got, Joe? I, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. Uh, only because I want to see something different, and I want to see the Authority still be pissed. Uh, John Cena, Superman, holding the title... We've seen it so many times before. We don't want to see it anymore. Orton is a possibility. Kane just Kane will not win the title. If anything, Kane will drag Orton and put him over Reigns or Cena or whatever. Uh, I, I I foresee Kane having a great shot and maybe the authority coming down and saying no, you know, make Orton win, make Orton win, and then Kane gets pissed and then attacks Orton with enough distraction where Roman Reigns can then hit the spear and get the, get the win. I don't know. I just I want to see Roman Reigns win the title uh, because it's fresh, it's exciting, it's new, it's different than, than the path they've had, and uh, that's what I think the WWE needs to do to keep my interest uh, going forward, something new. Dinosaur Lee? Oh. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I, the belt's not coming off of Cena. It's just not this soon, so I'm just going to write that down. Look, we all want Reigns to win it. I mean, as Joe pointed out, of all the, I mean, even the process of elimination, do you want Reigns to win it? Even if you don't like Roman Reigns, you have to like the other options less. But they're not going to take it off of Cena just yet. Um, they're not going to take it off anytime soon. So, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it on Cena probably until SummerSlam, if not longer. I, I think it's got to be Cena winning this match. It's it's a throwaway main event, and I, I don't see Reigns going over. The crowd is obviously behind him, and the WWE is obviously behind him right now. What happens when the WWE does the classic, give, give them the world and take it all away again? What does Reigns have going for him outside of the spear and Superman punch that puts him on the same level as John Cena. He, he doesn't have it. It, it. Yet. He doesn't have it yet. Right now, he's in the same boat that Ryback was in, where he just got pushed to the moon and beyond on the... Well, Ryback got pushed on Cena's word, and R Reigns got pushed because of the shield. Even within the shield, Reigns wasn't the workhorse of that team. He wasn't doing the work that, that propelled that propelled the shield to where it, where it was before it got broken up. That was that was Rollins and Ambrose. Reigns was just the face of it that the WWE pushed to the moon. I don't I don't like the idea of Reigns being given the title only to crash and burn when the WWE decides to cut it the legs out from under. I I think it's a better option for Cena to hold on to the title, and if he's going to drop it to anybody, it's going to be Lesnar at SummerSlam. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I like the idea of Roman Reigns stepping in. Uh, I think Roman Reigns does have that potential to be your top face in a year or so, but I, I'm not, I'm not necessarily ready to see him, him take over as, as WWE champion just yet, um, especially with Brock Lesnar potentially uh, being that first opponent. Um, I, I. I I don't want to see Lesnar lose. I want to see Lesnar hold the title. So for for me, my my scenario, uh, John Cena wins, loses against Brock Lesnar. That that makes total sense, and I think that's the direction they should go, and hopefully they do. So.